Hey everyone, it's Mia. Today we're looking at a camcorder for the true working broadcast professional. Sony has found some great success with the XD cam line, specifically the over-the-shoulder PMW 500. Now they're adding to the popular line with their smallest, lightest XD cam yet, the PMW 100. Think of this fully loaded four-pound camcorder as the 500's little brother. It's one of only a few handheld cameras that can capture full HD at a broadcast quality compression rate of 50 megabytes bits per second. It does this in MPEG-2 HD 422 video mode at 1080i, 1080p, and 720p at a variety of frame rates. Or you can drop down to HD 420 at 35 megabits and also film in all the various HD formats and frame rates. You could even choose to shoot in DV cam mode at 25 megabits per second. This camera supports both UDF and FAT shooting formats, which is big news for a small form factor camera because the footage can easily be edited with material shot from other XD Cam or XD Cam EX camcorders. It's one reason why the PMW 100 makes a great companion camera in the field. It gives you instant mobility and none of the problems that come with trying to edit two different types of media formats together. The PMW 100 arrived on the market in May and features a newly developed 1 3rd inch Exmor CMOS sensor that provides great low light sensitivity. It includes Sony's famed night shot function and is equipped with an infrared LED for shooting in complete darkness. This video comes out pretty clear as long as you can keep the camera close to your subject. The fixed 10x optical zoom lens offers a focal length range of 5.4 to 54 millimeters, which is equivalent to 40 to 400 millimeters for a 35 millimeter lens. You'll notice only one ring around the lens instead of the three you'd find on a professional ENG style camera. You can use the zoom or focus switch on the side to determine which function you want that ring to control. If you're doing a lot of run and gun style shooting, then you'll most likely use the auto aperture, but the PMW 100 does allow you to change it manually with a range of f1.8 to f2.9. Besides its compact portability, professionals who shoot news, documentaries, or events will love the camcorder's ability to instantly record within three and a half seconds of turning the camera on. Couple that with cache recording, which enables you to constantly buffer a 15 second video loop in camera, and you will never miss a shot because you weren't recording in time. You can also create some visual effects in camera with the slow and quick motion function. It can overcrank or undercrank your video to create a fast or slow visual effect. Using this feature, images are recorded natively with no padded frames at full resolution and the video quality is much better when you decide to do this in camera instead of in the post editing process. With such a small, lightweight camera, photographers may worry about running out of data space. But the PMW 100 has two SBIS card slots that support SBIS Pro or SBIS One cards. Now the cards are sold separately, but one SBIS One 64 gigabyte memory card can hold about 120 minutes of video. So two will record up to four hours of video and you can even switch the cards out while recording if you need more time. These cards also have speedy transfer rates, so you'll never risk missing a deadline because you had to wait for your video to download in real time. While it's about four pounds smaller than its big brother, the PMW 100 touts the same size three and a half inch high resolution WVGA color LCD display. It helps with precise focus adjustments and makes it easy to select or delete clips in playback. There's also a color LCD electronic viewfinder if you prefer to use that and save some battery power. The shutter speed ranges from 1 32nd of a second to 1 2000th of a second. So if you're shooting a high speed race, the faster shutter speed should keep your motion blur to a minimum. You'll find all the interface output you'd expect on a professional camcorder, HDMI, mini USB, AV and SDI outputs. The SDI output will let you hook up to a live switcher so you can play footage from your camera directly over the air. And the gen lock and timecode input output will allow you to use the small PMW 100 in a multi-camera shoot. You'll also find a front and rear accessory shoe on the handle. A headphone jack lets you monitor audio when you don't want to use the built-in speaker. And if you're conducting an interview, you'll want to use one of the two XLR inputs to connect a lavalier or handheld mic to the camera and record crystal clear 24-bit 48 kilohertz linear PCM audio.
A built-in microphone will still pick up all your natural sounds, so you can record on four channels. You should get a good two hours out of the battery that's supplied with the camera if you're using the EVF instead of the LCD. But you could upgrade to a four or even a six hour battery if you find you need more time. The camcorder also comes with a strap, lens hood, composite cables, and remote control. Overall, when it comes to image quality, ease of editing, and data management, the Sony PMW100 is a smart choice. Especially if you're looking for a lightweight professional camera that can provide live broadcast quality video. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.